Demonstrations for and against Roe versus Wade were held across the country today. Ed O'Keefe tells us more. At the Supreme Court and across the country today, Americans took to the streets to protest the potential end of Roe versus Wade. Asked about the leaked draft opinion, President Biden took a swipe at former President Donald Trump and his GOP coalition, who helped install the court's conservative majority. What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history, in recent American history. Democrats now see the possible end of abortion rights as another way to call out differences with Republicans ahead of the midterm elections. How dare they? How dare they tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her own body? On Capitol Hill, there's a push among Democrats, like Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, to write federal abortion rights into law. The United States Congress can act and protect a person's right to an abortion. Uh, and in fact, that is exactly what we're going to vote on next week. But you don't have the votes for it. By making people vote on this issue that matters to so many people, we've got a chance now maybe to change the makeup of who's in the United States Senate. At the state level, Democratic governors like Connecticut's Ned Lamont are preparing to sign a bill protecting and expanding abortion access. But 26 states are certain or likely to ban at least some access if Roe is defeated. Mississippi, whose ban on abortion after 15 weeks sparked the case that led to the draft opinion, is one of those states. Republican Governor Tate Reeves says if Roe is ending, the focus now should be on helping women. Making sure that we support every single one of these individuals uh, that has a pregnancy that may, may be unwanted, but convince them that that child is wanted and that that child is loved. To bypass those possible state abortion bans, some companies are now offering to pay travel expenses for workers who may want abortion services. One of those companies is Yelp. A top official tells us they think it's, quote, vitally important to safeguard their employees. Ed O'Keefe, CBS News, the White House. And for the latest continuing coverage on the Supreme Court and Roe v. Wade, you can go to our website anytime, WLTX.com, or download the free News 19 mobile app.